Yo, what is going on, everybody? Caveman Jack, back for another album reaction slash review. We are back. Back live from the studio. studio. Yo. Yo. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic week. Now, I've heard a lot about this project. Uh, pretty quickly came to surface when I believe Danny Brown was on a podcast. I think it's his own podcast. And he talked about this upcoming release, this collaboration album with him and JPEG Mafia. Now, we are listening to the album Scaring the Horse. Um, unreal look at album cover. Now, Danny Brown is an artist who I most definitely want to check out more on the channel. Every feature, couple of songs I've heard by him. I love his quirkiness. I love his delivery on his hip-hop tracks. Just a, a, a really unique sound, a really unique voice. Now, JPEG Mafia is also someone who I've always wanted to intend to listen to more of as well. Uh, from all the features and the tracks I have heard from him, I've loved his unique flow as well. I think this, is, this, this sounds like quite a unique pairing. Both have their own creative tendencies on their tracks that I've heard at least. A decent amount of people have checked out this project. So as a hip-hop fan, I thought I'd be doing a disservice to myself if I didn't check this project out. It's not a very long album, 36 minutes. I imagine the track's quite punchy, move pretty quickly, but let's get into it. This is Scare in the Hose by JPEG Mafia and Danny Brown. Oh, man. First yeah. off, fuck Elon Musk, ain't down too much, this that's expensive. Put the hose in the back and the crack in the slack, my teeth is a leak and I meant it. I don't really need to check, cause I got another stack, and these niggas might know me like a dentist. Said they all about this piece, so we hear some shit, nigga, get up there, cause this ain't what you want. No, this ain't what you want. Uh, fuck out, cause I feel like Papa John. Left straight to the bank, I'm Tony Khan. And they hate what I say, cause I ain't wrong. Lean beef patty. <laughs> I knew, I knew it was gonna be a wild sound, and we have this high energy coming from both, both JPEG and Danny on that track. A bit speechless. I don't really know what I just heard. <laughs> All I know was when Danny came in, that flow was clean. I love his sound, man. I really do. Uh, I think that beat really suited both those guys. Yeah, they allow themselves to just fall into these trippy, bassy sounds. That song was quite bassy. You know, JPEG, last time I heard him, he was featuring on the highest Flume mixtape. And Flume just gave him this wild beat to spit over. And I feel like we're going to get a lot of those kind of tracks on this album. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what I just heard. It's wild. Step a pig. What? I ain't cut with that top side, my brain fried, don't do drugs, had two plugs, two and just died. I'm up late, no talk show, things pop up, got broke, talk with a hoe, had a bank roll, shot another clothes, if it ran a slow. Ain't no way, God can never do a shit for me. Came up off that stop, had that recipe. You ain't never seen no things that you are everything. Make your money crash out and save for everything. Bust up to it like fly trash, no pine swole, no ice pack. This bitch with the dope, she backing it up for a gram. Baby, I cannot do nothing with hope. I'ma try Molly and Zans. They try to give me the ghost. Boy, you ain't Kai when pitching you band. 90 degrees with a coat, ho, and I ain't showing my hands. Uh, I make it harder to breathe. I can run like my emotions. I keep them both in my steve. Back in this bitch, what's the issue? Bitch, they buckle and you off the leash. Fuck them. Oh, 
just a good energy on this track, man. Call a capital free agent, cap the salary, free of my team. Y'all rap like beef placements, and can't find a replacement for me. When I stalk your page and I see you living life respectfully, and I tell myself you know her worth, and I draft apologies. They don't like when I talk like this, cause they know that that shit is for them. These cracks love talk about me and thinking like it's my job to ignore them. Bitch, please, please. still, we still pretty, still touring. Still lit, still gritty, y'all boring. I don't fuck with you niggas like Hogan. Trigger finger, just be glitching his program. So this is like a high intensity hip hop album so far. Kind of what we were expecting. I'm glad it's not disappointing from that front. I think this is the kind of energy that you want from these two on an album together. Danny Brown's voice over the years. When I first heard it, I was like, what? What is that? Over the years, I've really grown to love it. The bass is quite punchy. It's quite effective. You can really feel it, which is great. Um, it adds to this excitement of each track. A lot of dynamics, a lot of layers. It's a lot. It's a lot, but it just adds this like, just go 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 pace. It's, it's it's interesting. Like I'm focusing on the bars, and then the music will just take over, and I'll be like, whoa, and then I'm kind of like trying to balance on what I'm focusing on, but I'm just letting the music hit me, uh, and taking it how it comes. But Stepper Pig, <laughs> Stepper Pig. Oh, saxophone as well. This sax was coming in and it was, it was, you know, having its little flares. It was like, you know, it was having a little bit of fun. And then, man, when the beat came in, oh my gosh, the beat was tough. They had some synth, they had an electric guitar that was doom, doom, doom. Might've been a bass, but energy on that track was fun, man. What a, what a song title track, man. Damn, and the chorus was catchy, man. What a track. That is one of my favorite hip-hop songs I've heard this year. That was a lot of fun. They both had fantastic chemistry on that song. There's sometimes where I hear Danny's flow and I go, that one will take some time to hit me. Uh, Cause it's sometimes he's off beat. He's just slightly off beat. That track, 
I'm noticing that the instrumentation is quite amplified. It's quite bassy, but I'm loving the sampling. I'm loving like, I'm loving like some of the kind of heavy instrumentation influences. I think it's, it's good when you kind of hear these guitars and stuff. I always like that in hip hop where we kind of get a bit of diversity in terms of sound. A lot of different sounds are flying in and out of these tracks, which is exciting. Keeps you on your toes. You know, I'm just saying, man. Uh, is it the car, the clothes, the money, the jewelry, the crib, the drug, or the hoes? Is it the cat, the meth, the weed, the lean, the molly, the boy, the blow? You can get rock and Chrissy and how you hate it, bro. I'm fixing them. Right, they got these raps to sit in. Try to press they lost like Gilligan. I want to rock right now. Hitting whipping to eating halal. Get to clipping while whipping these sounds. You get hit, you gonna sing like Bilal. Uh, back it up. See that bitch, I'm acting up. Cause some right here ain't adding up. Smack it up. Well, huh, ain't no whacking us. Put us in the back, man. I do what I want to, stay yet yeah, ain't no accident. Mashing them, knock them out the road, the way we smack them. I said it, I'm gonna knock it on it. Keep your feet like this, brown. Stay f***ing on it, that's it. I don't wanna see you jump around, fuck them too. I'm some fake, where you can't get everything. You coming down like it's no rain. Yes, yeah, she may just say my name, but I'm from a week outside. I don't wanna take you for a ride. What's so f***ing high? No one say so, why they high? No kick brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, it's better than you. I haven't listened to a lot of JPEG Mafia, so I'm not sure if this is the sound he usually hops on. But when I heard uh, the track on the Flume mixtape, he sounds like so comfortable over those wi that wild beat that Flume made for him. A bunch of these songs take away the rapping, and some of them could be Flume tracks in the way that they're the sporadic kind of cutting in and out of the beat the bassy sounds, the sampling, it's interesting. So, like, I wonder if Flume had an influence on JPEG Mafia's decision to make an album like this. Again, prefacing that I'm not entirely sure what, like, hip-hop genre, is, is this the usual sound that JPEG jumps on? They'd start the verse and it would slowly build the verse, the instrumentation would slowly rise. It has, like, the 8-bit kind of sound to start the verse. And then more sounds would come in and eventually that bass just comes out of nowhere. And it just, it just times itself really nicely in terms of where it's positioned, where they're flowing. It sounds quite sporadic, but I imagine that in the delivery, these guys uh, were ensuring that the bass kind of came in at certain points to highlight certain lines, highlight certain flow switches. So again, just another bombastic track with some really great energy. You cannot deny it. These guys are having fun on this album, and and you yourself, you hear it, and you start just like you, you you're like, what's going on? I love it. <laughs> See, it's so like what. Like NASCAR, nigga, you better not go. But you better get your mind right, boy. Let it sit all over that bridge. Nigga, I'm real right. Go stand. Let's go. Fuck man, be on the kiss, but I ain't got a lot of kids. That's just that's a sample. I just love the beat placement. I really just the bass. Whenever the bass comes in, it just hit the right parts of their flow. It was like a knights lining up, getting ready to enter battle, and then like the, the trumpets and the horns. But they just amplified these 
these samples and just add this in, insane energy to each of these tracks. Man, there are some really great songs on this album. Some really great hip hop tracks, really unique in sound and just, just fun, man. Just fun. Both these artists have this kind of free flowing feeling about their flow. And it comes across on these songs. It doesn't feel like really tight. It just has this really natural flow. Shut the fuck up talking too much. I don't rap circles around niggas. I build figure eights. Bring free a nigga that shit your real estate. My cycle paper raise a blaze. Sit back in the plate. Same story. Shut the fuck up. You're still talking to me. Shut the fuck up. You sat tired. Campfire's the hell tighter. I'm like a only lighter than Rikers. Your vampires always biting and sucking shit. It's that ain't no discussion. Come back and you try to touch him on my mama. I was wrong. Like a promise. I just hit the bottle to drown off the chatter. All these voices in my head had my brain all shattered. How I got more in. When I stopped popping them pills, now I'm slanging propane like a king at a hill. Seen it's over, but I ain't shit to end in this year. Like you're speaking in tongues. So fuck uninvited. They didn't want me to come. Feel like. Hip-hop, man. It's been a genre that I've listened to for a large part of my life. I've always loved, loved hearing unique sounds and unique takes that I haven't heard, and it's refreshing for me. JPEG and Danny on this album have delivered a project that has just been high intensity, great fun, and I just love I love the creativity that, that's pouring out of this album. JPEG is, uh, yeah, he's, he's, his tone is a little bit more like accessible, I think. But Danny's tone is just a bit, it's a bit jarring at first. But damn, when it clicks, it clicks, man. I always, I was so excited when I heard Danny was making a new project. And I was just really glad that he was doing it with an, with an artist that I'd heard so much good things about JPEG. And an artist that whoever, whenever I had heard him, I really enjoyed his flow and his energy and delivery. Man, these guys are bouncing off each other so well. From what I've seen, the bars have been really nice. A lot of them, a bunch of them probably going over my head at the moment. I'm trying to keep along with the lyrics, but some of them, man, they're tough. They're good bars. Friday morning, hearing this album, the energy these two are having, it's, it's, it's setting me up for a good day. You know, I'm, 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 I'm just going to take this energy from this album and just Use it for the rest of my day. You think she made me true three times before. She did tuck my side while I'm on my body. I'm like, body there she blow. So everybody, I can't feel my face. I'm these narcotics. I took her to space. She's just sitting within this flow. She's been running all night, all night, saying that I'm bitch. She keep looking at me, okay, let me see the nika. She want to roll with a real one. Nigga, we acting too tough. Okay, dangerous. Yeah. Swing with us, sing with us, the pigs can't hang with us. Yeah. My fist can't lick, she twerking off age with us, entangled up. That yeah. enabled us to put your girl in the came across. Yeah. So don't play with us, don't aim at us. You ain't the same as us. I'm on the BCD. They put it out APG. Your girl in the back, we get in hard. Rock like CBGs. I'm on the ground like a young bum beat. Pyrex never let my nigga be me. I'm the black Marjorie Taylor Taylor Green. Deep throat, the nigga doesn't sound like Chris. Stick it down, that's getting all clean. It's crazy. Your parents lied. You ain't special we turn at your guys You still got the beats I bud drive When they do that to me I'm just a different chop. What I liked about that song was There's multiple points throughout the sample Where all the sound just got sucked into itself Stop for a minute There'd be like a little ad lib And the beat would just come back in really effortlessly Just tight Really good Yeah, JPEG's flow on that track God 
damn, that was nice. That was nice. So I was sitting in really good pockets on that that on that sample. Danny, when he came in, the, the sample, like this singing sample comes in. I'm like, how the heck, you know, when the beat's going to come in? And then Danny just tries to find the little space between it, <laughs> between the, the, you know, any kind of little space and starts rapping. It's super unorthodox. It's a little bit jarring, but it's fun. It's fun, man. Red Vale. Red Vale, I've heard a little bit about him. I think he's getting a bit of buzz. I don't actually, I don't, I've never actually looked into him or his music. So I'm excited to hear him for the first time. Um, Kingdom Hearts key, big fan of Kingdom Hearts. So I don't know, man, if they have a Kingdom Hearts sample, I'd, I'd lose it. Just one time, big stick. All that money get flushed in a blank. Shadow dribble, go give me a ring. You got money, you don't got to think. I was just one time, this bang. Let the app now get what you think. Feel like Ezra when I'm on the scene. All these felonies they never seen. Got my cup like I'm on the team. Like the second they stay off my screen. Red Veil at the end of the song. He had a little bit of a, like a, a kind of offbeat flow, like Earl sweatshirt has a little. Um, I liked his tone. Um, I thought he added a, a fair bit to that track, added another element to that song. Bro, Danny, man. Danny and JPEG have just sounded awesome on this album. Um, there's so many little elements to these songs. The ad-libs have been really, really good. That song, I felt like the ad-libs really were highlighted. After most lines, you'd hear a little bit of an ad-lib. Structurally, the songs don't stick around too long. They move quick. You move through this album really quick. Imagine without the stopping and starting like I'm doing on the reaction. This album will just flow. The transitions will be good. And you can just kind of keep that good vibe rolling. I, I love it. Yeah. How are these samples, man? Oh, 
That track was sick, man. You got this church inspired gospel sample, right? They flip it, the bass comes in like usual. Daddy is just making all these religious references in the most crazy, <laughs> the most sexual ways. It's, it's, it's just a fun track, man. It's really tongue in cheek. It's really just fun. My God, man. That flow, that flow is so solid, man. <laughs> Danny Brown's flow, right? You know, if it's not clicking for you, give it more time. Because when it does, oh, it's tough, man. Jack Harlow combo meal. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> it's a random song title ever. Ooh. Oh, man. Jack, I'm about to stop when I make my phone that whole life there right now. I'm just waiting for this wild. You want to see tomorrow? One phone call your family sorrow. Just be a whole bunch of pyro. Shoot no niggas like Janeiro Park. Do that. Watch out. I'm about to go nuts. Go nuts. Go you. Watch out. Watch out. Better not take another thing. Why not white niggas ain't stuck up with me? Nah. I've been a black nigga something to see. Yeah. I'm gonna get hard for you niggas to breathe. Uh. Never be another motherfucker like me. That a regular wave. I spoke to some unusual, but to me it's just regular haze. They come in and clean up my cuticles, tired of smoking these regular strains. Uh. Girl, it's been minutes, it's been hours, and it's been days, bitch. I pray for you always. Everything about two packs I like. Back in this bitch, you can bump me to kick out my shoulder, leaning like I'm drunk. All of that royalty power and fame and respect, you can't change the fact that you a hoe. Jack Harlow Combo Meal. I'm a little bit in two minds about that song. I wasn't a huge fan of Danny's section. I love the beat. I think the beat's beautiful. Uh, yeah, the auto-tune section at the end. I don't know if that was JPEG. Wasn't massive on it. Um, but then JPEG's last flow at the end there was just yeah, really solid way to play out the song. I love how you just hear this, this unique jazzy piano, right? And then all of a sudden, I was just waiting for it. And he goes, check. And I was like, yep, all right, beat's coming in. <laughs> just... Yeah, my bitch, she's so perfect and bad. And I love her, she's shaking that ass. Go ahead, girl, put that bomb in the bag. These niggas is trash. Baby ass, it's Kimba, a freak. You a flash. Why do these nobody start with me? They don't got moves, don't got beats, don't got heart like me. Uh. I'm not a bachelor, I'm not a shot. Yeah. Bitch with a cash at, I'm a computer. I feel like a bitch could just set a whole ruler. Uh, Keep one eye open like sleep with the ruler. Got one in the head, head straight from the doulas. Triggering nobody's living and free. Spot niggas living by carrying sleepers. I would stop, bring it back, yeah. get it out. My dog kind of charged with the fit now. Now you pray up to a vibe. Hoping in court that the church show him live. Only in church with somebody pays. No hope for the future, we stuck in the past. The beat was quite jarring for the most part of that track. I think it's because it was quite jarring. 
uh, it, you can feel a little disconnected, but it is one of those beats where I think over time it gradually hits and like you just kind of, because it's quite so, quite jarring at first, you do need a little time to sit with it. Towards the end of the song there, we had that, that soulful sample and then that beat, you know, just like, it's just a little, little beat which is like that. They're always really nice. Last track on the album. Let's go. This has been a fun one. Named this one JPEG. Okay. Oh. okay, my bitch, she bad. She got me on my soul that make a shit. That ass. This is not on my double fist. The cat. Don't be no pain they loan. They be like, bitch, who that? I got tough on the phone. What the fuck you talking about? Money made in a Harley, oh. and we don't click with all these cases and you copy. That bitch let anybody and she like the army. Like the Off top on your bitch like Darby. Man, I'm waiting for Daddy. Man. He's about to play this album out. I just know it. Here we go. Here we go, man. This is it. Let's go, Daddy Brown. Come on. Come on. It was so hard to follow. You know, he was slightly offbeat, so you're always kind of like having to reshift your focus. And I think that's the intention. You weren't, you weren't like you never settled. And I think you just like going like far out. Where's this taking me next? 36 minutes. I think it is the a really solid runtime for the amount of energy and the sounds that we hear on this album. A couple more tracks. It might have been a little bit too much. We might have been a little wow, like that's too much to consume. But this is nice. I think it's already like, you know, getting to that, like this is bombastic stage on that last track. But a lot of really fantastic songs on this album. I said it a lot throughout the video, but high energy, great chemistry. The instrumentation is unique. It's sporadic. You are always on your toes and you're having a lot of fun. Take a shot every time I said fun on this video because man you would be knocked out cold but as a hip-hop fan i love hearing these unique takes these fun collab albums we're seeing a lot of collab albums as of late which is great we want to see more fantastic artists working together celebrating their craft together a mate tagged me in this post saying metro Boomin and jid jid are doing a collab album soon Every time I think about some of the tracks, like I just, man, geez. step a pig. I'm looking at the songs, I <laughs> step a pig. Yeah, let me know what you guys thought of that project. Uh, Hip hop fans, rock fans, any fans of any genre. What did you think of that album? Let me know if you have seen Danny Brown or JPEG live. What are they like? These are two artists that if I got the chance to see them, I certainly would. They are both high energy, great fun. So if you have seen them, let me know. If you're new to the channel and enjoyed that video and want to see more hip hop videos, I've done a uh, sprinkle hip hop albums throughout the channel's history so far. If you wanted to try something else out, I've listened to a wide range of genres. So there should be something for everyone. If you guys uh, enjoyed the video and want to see more, hit the subscribe button and join the community. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you as always. It is a pleasure. 
to see you. Take care, guys. Have a great week. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Cheers. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. I see what you're doing. I came up like I'm Owens. Now I step up, it's Isaac Owens.